In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 4, which is to set the quantity filter. This is an optional step. I will also be showing you how to complete step 5, which is to add products to your list. Click on step 4. This filter is used to filter out low quantity items. Let's say I put my quantity filter to 10, so only products that have 10 or more in stock will be added to my list. Now, click on step 5 to add products to your list. For in-depth detail on how to add products to your list, you can check my other video called, Adding Items to Your List. To recap, you can use any of the filters at the top, and combine it with the filters below it, as well as the keyword filter. Let's say I want to add items in bulk, for example, high profits. As you see, there are 1,220 products that have a profit range of $60 to $100. You can change the profit range filter. To add all products, click on the plus list button. By default, out of stock items will not be added, but you can tick the box to add them. There is also a price range filter you can use to add products within a range you enter. Now as you see, the products have been added to my list. Now as you see here, the quantity filter filtered out 482 products, because it doesn't have a quantity of at least 10. Let's say I change the quantity filter to 1. As you see, 21 products have a quantity below 1, which means that those items are out of stock. Before applying the quantity filter, you can click on Get Count to see how many products will not be added to your store. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.